Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tara. Hope everybody's well. All right, Cancer, we're gonna throw them down for you for January 2022. Wow, still trying to wrap my head around that. I don't know where the heck 2021 went. I really don't. It just kind of flew by. It's crazy. All right, anyway, Cancer. It's your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If it resonates, cool. If not, check your moon, rising, or Venus sign reading. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little better. Keep in mind, though, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can, and vice versa. I even play it from the perspective of a cross-watcher. No difference. Cross-watchers are always welcome at the first sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff. If you want to come hang out some more, you can... Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time if they so choose. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. Two quick things before I invoke the cards and throw them down. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And once again, if it is not your reading story or message, just leave the cards and then take a black away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. All that does is start fights and drama, and nobody wants that. Okay, what came out in the pre-shuffle? Two of Swords, Hierophant Reversed, Magician Reversed, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords Reversed. Ooh. Somebody might have something to say and don't know quite how to say it. Some of you might be coming out of a blessed union with some... Somebody might potentially be manipulative. Or something that was a blessed union is not manifesting currently. I don't know. We'll see what comes out. Tip the camera down and get started. Random crap in the way. Heavenly <laughs> Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels. I ask pretty messages you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for 2020, 2022, January. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Cancer to the highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. We're going to shovel it one more time, cut it, and call it. Oh, bringing back golden oldie spread for those of my cancer friends who've been hanging out for a minute. Seven pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let's get the energy of the person that you are dealing with. I gotta be gentle with this one. This is an old, old girl she is. She's well, well played and well loved. Well played and well loved. Nine of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Goodness, y'all. I oopsed. Miss Madeline came over earlier, asked me to throw down some cards for her, and I forgot to take these back out of the box. Silly mama. Okay. All right, what's up? 
Knight of Swords, Reverse. How you feel about them as the Emperor Reverse. What you think of them as the Ten of Cups. Intended action, Actions as the Three of Swords. Outcome as the Seven of Wands. I ain't feeling too good about this right now. Six of Pentacles reversed, Magician, Lovers reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, Nine of Wands reversed. Goodness. Goodness, Cancer. Talk to me about this Knight of Wands reversed. For Cancer. There you go. Okay. Possibly a third party in the mix. Not necessarily somebody cheating or being cheated on, but there's definitely another person or situation in this mix. And that's why there's no forward movement with it. One more. Queen of Wands versus somebody is ticked. His things aren't moving. Maybe somebody's tick because they didn't get picked. I don't know. We'll see what else comes out. What's the Emperor reversed all about? Or how Cancer feels about the person they're dealing with? Emperor reversed. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put you back. Page of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Feels like rejection. Feels like somebody withholding a cup because of past rejection, possibly. Yeah. Moving on. You feel like they've already moved on. This is heartbreaking. Why the Ten of Cups for what you think of them? Why the Ten of Cups? Six of Pentacles reversed. Something isn't even or equal. Two threes on the board, guys. Three threes, actually, because the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords came up twice. Just in reversed. Page of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes that little Page of Swords doesn't tell you what you want to hear. That hmm. mm. almost feels manipulative and puppet stringy. Four cups reversed. Dang. All right. What's your actions toward the person you're dealing with? Why the three swords? Seven of Wands reversed. Mm. 
Nine of Pens. Empress reversed. Ace of Cups. Shoot! Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We'll address that in a second. What is this up here? Emperor reversed. Out of control. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Wants to deliver the pentacle. They don't have it in them. Why the Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups? This is how you feel about them. You want to move on from this. Okay, all things being fair and vice versa, place yourself where you see fit. Um... Someone sees the potential, but um, there's a situation here. Definitely a situation. Somebody's at a crossroads of, as, as of what to do. Somebody's heartbroken. Somebody's not all about cups right now. Somebody would just much rather move on, but they feel stuck. Like, I control. Can't control the situation. Stuck. Someone wants to move slowly. Someone else doesn't want to move at all. It's heartbreaking. You get down here to what you think of them. Just reversed. Six pentacles reversed, four cups reversed. This is third party. If somebody is potentially jaded because there's third party involvement. I don't know if it's just a bug in your ear or an X or what. <coughs> but there's definitely an outside influence on this connection. Intended actions. Three of swords, seven of wands, reversed, empress, empress reversed, nine of pentacles, ace of cups. Somebody doesn't want conflict. Somebody wants an end to conflict. One of the empress reversed. Ace of Wands reversed, Nine of Wands reversed. And uh, what? Okay. I think you feel like you feel that you feel like you'd be better off single. You don't want to move this forward. Super weird. Possibly there's an outside influence. You could be a little bit jaded because of it. Why the seven of wands? There's a lot of wands on this table. I feel like somebody's dealing with a fire sign. Pink, King of Pentacles, Reverse Terrafin. Projected outcome. Hmm. Hmm. This feels like a lesson learned. I only say that because the Hierophant is isn't joining two people together. He's more in teaching mode in this particular card, and that's what I see. Can't always get what you want. 
the lesson here is you can't always get what you want. I don't know if that's resonating with anybody. One more. Knight of Swords reversed, Ace, Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords reversed. Stress, anxiety, not speaking, not getting what you want, lack of happiness. Somebody's going to stand up here. Doing what's right. doesn't always get what you want but I feel like someone's gonna stand up and do the right thing why is the six of Pentacles here for the person that cancer is dealing with this just got all kinds of confusing all of a sudden Imbalance, lack of patience with the imbalance. How do they feel about you, the magician? One of the magician. Nine of swords reversed. Nine of cups reversed. High priestess reversed. Page of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Hearing the song Poker Face in my head. Poker Face. Hermit. Star. This is about healing. They know you're going through something. They know you're coming out of something. They know you're not happy. Emperor Five of Swords. Taking charge. Hmm. All right. Why is the lovers reversed here? Two of Cups reversed. Justice. You're getting ready to walk away. I think they feel it. You're not happy. You have a wounded ego for whatever reason. This is just how they feel. You're going to take charge of the situation and do what's best for you ultimately. And I feel like they know that. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse terror? Excuse me a second. Sorry about that. That was something I had to address. Seven of Cups reversed. Clarified by this Two of Swords reversed. What? Ace of Pentacles. What? What? Oh, okay. Oh, their intended actions towards you, Ten intentions, potential actions, they're confused. They can't decide what decision is best for them. Four of Pentacles. They're definitely holding something back. It's definitely holding something back. 
chariot. Probably going to, like, keep their distance for a minute. What's the Nine of Wands all about? Nine of Wands reversed is the outcome. Sun reversed. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm rolling through some cards here. Oh my gosh, so many cards. Lovers reversed. King of Swords reversed. Guys. <laughs> the Devil and the Star. I'm going to leave them out. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. Whoa. One on the Devil. Page of Cups reversed. Six, six of Swords. We're leaving it. Oh, this feels like self-soothing. Person could have a drug or alcohol problem. This feels like throwing in the towel. Self-soothing. Taking it for what it is. Emotional train wreck. Holy crap. I don't know what you're dealing with, but somebody might be a little bit of a train wreck. Let's get a Wisdom Oracle. And then we're going to get a Moonology. Wisdom Oracle for Cancer, please. Loyal Hearts. try to set it in the chair. Never wants to sit in the chair. It's the universe's way of saying it doesn't work like that. Okay. Show the world the real you. Full moon Aquarius. I may only get one reading in today. I'm getting like super pooped. This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold in prog in progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique, your unique characteristics are what make you special in a relationship. You're being too aloof. Or, are, you being, ugh, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Oh, wow. Loyal Heart, number 35. I flipped to 34. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitment and trusting in divine protection. Okay. I don't argue with the cards. Yeah, so this has been your reading for January 2022. Know that your love be blessed. Let's make 2022 a banging banner year. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light.